Hi, hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. Uh, most global equ equity markets took a little bit of a, a backseat last night with the US 30 actually drifting a little bit further down as the dollar managed to, uh, to rally against some of its other uh, majors out there. Uh, and the market is basically waiting for a lot more uh, macro data before it makes its, its next decision. So we had a whole host of PMI last night. Some of the PMI figures was actually okay. UK, the inflation data came out at zero, the lowest since records um, began. But a lot of that is still attributed to the uh, really low oil price and the effect that that's having across most uh, production aspects of the economy as well. So we're almost getting a kind of um, a head and shoulders formation here potentially. Certainly we have a, a top here and an, a lower high. Uh, we are drifting a little bit lower just now. That is also the 21 period SMA. Um, you know, if you looked at this in a weekly standpoint, that could be one shoulder, that could be the neck, and that could be the start of another shoulder with a break potentially down the, the, this way. Uh, but it's not happened as, as of yet. But needless to say, 17,895 will be the next potential support if the 21 period SMA is broken. Most of the technicals are relatively neutral, uh, so this still has a little bit of room for maneuver. On the daily charts, it looks a little bit weak just now. It's only down a fraction, but um, following on to the last couple of days, it'll be the third day down in a row. So looking at the UK 100, uh, kind of graveyard doji formation right here, uh, we got to about uh, 76, uh, 7,060 7, yesterday, uh, and we drifted down again a little bit today. So you could be looking at 7,000 being a new potential support level. Um, it was a psychological level that, uh, that was broken there this week. Uh, and I'll put that line on there for now with 69.64 being the next potential support and that certainly was a broken resistance now it's certainly expected to act as potential support should the markets uh, move that little bit lower again most uh, technical indicators are relatively neutral right now uh, and the UK 100 might take lead from the other markets so looking at Japan 2 to 5 getting closer and closer to 20,868 or certainly closer to breaking 20,000 anyway which will certainly be a, an event that will be covered in the local press in Japan uh, we have been down lower today, dollar yen really going a little bit sideways right now as ever, still kicking around about uh, 119.75. Um, I think the uh, the Chinese markets have done okay as well. Uh, I think as a matter of fact the Chinese markets are about 55% from uh, last November when the, um, the Chinese government embarked on a big stimulus package and that's helping to obviously drag Japan 2 to 5 up with it as well. Um, who are who have been embarking on their own stimulus package uh, for some time. So moving on to dollar yen, um, dollar, dollar yen you can you can see the, the kind of pathways it's, it's been going over the last couple of sessions. Uh, certainly over the last couple of months it's been moving in this kind of this wave formation right here where it's beginning to flatten out. We have broken a potential trend line right here with the, the support uh, around about 119 still in play which also coincide with the 55 period SMA. Uh, most of the technical indicators are relatively neutral as well so uh, 119 would be the support level to break. Uh, moving swiftly on to West Texas <coughs> crude, uh, we do have crude oil inventories due out today. Uh, 43.29 is still a potential support on West Texas. Uh, we've had three positive days in a row. This is the first negative day that we've, well, it's not obviously posted a negative day as of yet. Um, but, uh, you know, downtrend still very much in, in play. Um, but there has been some decent days the last couple of days. But uh, almost got a bullish cross on the MACD. Almost got a, an oversold indicator in the slow stochastic with a potential reversal, whereas the RSI is uh, relatively neutral right now. Uh, today should be interesting for the crude oil inventories. The last couple of times, the last two weeks have come out, it's actually been quite high, but the crude price has still increased in value, so that will be one worth watching later on today. Looking at gold, gold is now comfortably above 1186, which could be a springboard for a rechallenge of 1218. We're trading above 21 period SMA. Uh, we had this uh, this kind of cross right here on the RSI and the slow stochastic. So certainly from a technical perspective, it had a good run. It's all about uh, interest rates in the US when looking at gold. Well, they are won't they? Certainly, for less is spiking up, it's looking later rather than sooner. Finishing up with euro dollar and GBP USD. Uh, euro dollar. Uh, doji formation, graveyard doji formation again last night, traded above the 21 period SMA. Uh, really it looks like one spot 11 will be a resistance level that will be in play relatively uh, shortly. We are moving on the upside again, it's, it's quite quite volatile incidentally, so the dollar did have a little bit of a rebound yesterday, gaining a little bit of strength against the majors, uh, but your dollar is back on the up this morning. And if you finish up with GBP USD, um, 
the uh, it definitely took strength away from the uh, from the dollar certainly took strength away from the sterling. That inflation data as well uh, coming in at zero didn't help to add strength to GBP USD. Um, but it looks like one spot four eight thirteen is going to be the potential support level. Um, I think one of the Bank of England's committee members said last night that she believed that the next um, rate uh, element would be a hike rather than a cut, following on from some of Kearney's previous uh, comments that it could be one or the other. Well, Kearney is another Bank of England um, member, in fact. Uh, but that gives you a bit of an idea of where we are. One spot for 8.13, this is the level to be aware of in today's uh, trading environment. So economic data-wise, you've got German IFO business expectations. You've got durable goods orders. That should be quite, quite good. That makes sure you've got your alert set for that. Let me just set a reoccurring alert so don't miss it. And of course, you've got your crude oil inventories, which are widely expected to come in at record highs. So keep your eye on the chart form as ever. Make insights part of the late going forward. And join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.